Why do you need an employee handbook? Let's talk about that. I'm Dr. Tiffany Slater, the CEO and Senior Human Resources Consultant for HR TaylorMade. A lot of small businesses ask the question, why do I need an employee handbook and I only have two employees, myself and another person? That's a good question and it's a valid question, but let me answer it for you. The employee handbook helps you to create consistency it helps you to manage, and it also helps your employees with understanding what is expected of them in terms of the way that they represent your company and your organization, the way that they should be inter interfacing with your clients and your customer, and the way that they should go about doing things with inside, inside of your organization. So you should start thinking about creating an employee handbook the first time that you consider the fact that you need to have an employee. So it's a great way of communicating expectations, benefits, policies um, that are, you know, regarding your dress code, attendance, um, overtime, time off, customer service. I could go on. Your employee handbook is your hub spot for all of your policies that are related to how you want your employees to behave and function in your organization. And remember, you can change and update your policies at any time. Having an employee also helps you manage your employees. How? Because your employee handbook gets to be the bad guy. So if you have an employee who's doing something, you can go to that employee after having shared the handbook with them during your onboarding process, you can go to your employee and say, hey, remember we went over the handbook during onboarding and we said that you have to come into work five minutes before the start of your shift. It's in the handbook. So we wanna make sure that we follow the handbook. So the employee handbook can be the bad guy, but it's documented. You can prove that the employee was aware of it because they would have signed an acknowledgement sheet when they reviewed the handbook. So you wanna definitely have an employee handbook so that you can always refer to it and use it as a guide. The other thing that's important about the handbook is that it allows you to be consistent in the, in the way that you execute your policies. When you are consistent, it reduces the opportunity or the possibility that employees will file claims of bias or discrimination. So when you follow your policies to a T, you can, you know, pretty much, you know, no, understand that your employees will know that you are treating them the same way that you are treating other people. There will be extenuating circumstances. I recall a time when I had a, a no call, no show policy in a handbook. We had an employee who was never absent. Two days went by and we hadn't heard from that person. And they didn't call us, they didn't email, nothing. So the director of the custodial services went to their house, which is something that he did often to check on people, specifically when he knew that that person was not likely to skip work or at least to call about not being able to come to work. What he discovered was that that person had been taken to the hospital. They were fine, but the family forgot to call to come to, to call us. So do we let that person go for no call, no show? No, we understand that life happens and that was just a mistake. So we didn't terminate that person or let that person know that, you know, we're going to take that as job abandonment. Now, if that person had been sitting on their couch watching TV, we would have considered that to be no, two no call, no shows, and it would have been job abandonment. But that's an example of an extenuating circumstance and a situation where you have to make a call that, you know what, I can't apply this policy. Although it was two no call, no shows, there was 
an, a sufficient enough reason to not deem it as such or treat it the same way. So I hope that that was helpful and that you understand that employee handbooks are there to help you guide employees and are there to help you make great, impactful, consistent management decisions. I am Dr. Tiffany Slater of HR TaylorMade. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.